it was the third week of the season. We were all amped up running into our stadium for the first time with all the momentum we had behind us. I was also fired up because our home opener was doing a really special thing for Poncho and all that he meant to, to us. And obviously that was emotional for me too. Everything was going great. And uh, there in the fourth quarter, we had a, a play call. I made a good move uh, and I was just getting ready to go make a tackle. And one of our players got thrown into my knee, which was locked out on the turf. And I just felt it pop. I didn't want to stay down, so I just got up and ran off the field. You have to just tell yourself positive thoughts, positive thoughts. This isn't it. This isn't it. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. The snap. Josh going to throw it. Offense scored and put us up by three points. And there was like a minute and 50 left in the game. And defense had to go out there to win the game. I said, let's go try it. First play back out there. I took two steps and I just fell to the ground. Tremaine came up to me. He's like, let's go. And I just, I shook him off. I just sat there crying, not because of the pain, but because I know what this means. How great of a spot I was just 10 minutes before, mentally, physically, with this team. And I knew that it was all going to be taken away from me. So, first thing I do every morning. Pour a big glass of water. More recently, I just kind of stick to the same routine. I'll do like three or four eggs every morning, one or two pieces of toast, some type of yogurt. I got to NFL and I see some of these guys who've been in the, the game a little bit longer, guys like Lorenzo, Lee Smith, Kyle. They have to worry about what they're eating, all the inflammation and stuff like that. So I just started Trying to watch a little bit more. Again, I play defensive line, so if there's a cookie available, I'm gonna grab the cookie and eat it. But uh, I try not to eat as much bad food as I can. It sucks that I'm in Buffalo and the wings are phenomenal. I did get with our nutritionist and we started laying out easy meals I could do on my own. Different steak, chicken, salmon, a lot of sweet potatoes, brown rice. I tried to meal prep on the weekends, but I would always go to some of my favorite spots here in Buffalo. Rachel's is one of the easiest, quickest places I go, and I actually I always carry my uh, my Rachel's card with me. You know, anytime I'm on my way home, need something healthy to fuel up with, Rachel's has always been a good spot for me. One of the hardest things was the season itself, not being a part of the winning team, seeing myself not be able to help this team win. Maybe we could have won another game if I was healthy this year. I don't say that selfishly, but those are just the thoughts that you put into your head. As heartbreaking as I was, I mean, I was emotional on the sideline when, when we lost in the playoffs. I think the next day it kind of hit me like, hey, it's officially the 2020-2021 NFL season. The next time a game is played, I'll be playing that day. And I was really, really motivated. I'm like, hey, it's a new year. We've got all the pieces. I believe that I'm an important part to the puzzle. I just have a big chip on my shoulder that I really want to get back and, and be healthy. Well, today will be the first time I'm doing plyometrics. I'm gonna get in the pool today and do like real max effort jumping in the water. And so on a day like today, biggest goal is just not to have any swelling in my knee or any pain in my knees, be able to do everything that the trainers asked me to do. You're gonna go left that way, left that way. Better, better. Did you notice what you do in something different? Yeah. What did you do different? I just went, I'm gonna get you so that becomes subconscious. You're gonna have to think about doing it every time you land. Oftentimes their feedback is, is more than enough. I'm very honest with them. It's open communication. Like, I'll never hide if something's hurting. Little tendon pain at the very bottom shooting up on the right leg. The goals for today is just find a way to try something new and not have my knee get mad at me for it. I think I was so optimistic. I get a run soon. I get a cut soon. I, the mental side of that part is like, well, obviously it's going to get better from here. I, I thought it was going to be like this. Well, good afternoon. Welcome to One Bills Live, March 12th. John Murphy and Steve Tasker. First of all, let me say this, Steve, and I believe this. This is not a sports story, but it is affecting sports as it is every other facet of American and world society. We're in a weird, weird place. We've never been before in sports with the coronavirus pandemic. When the building got shut down in March, they sent me home 
because I had such excruciating pain that some days I couldn't push through it. You know, I got hurt at the end of September. I had surgery in October and it was April and I'm still having days that I experienced seven to eight out of 10 pain. I think they were starting to get some concern outside of just myself, you know, well, maybe he shouldn't be having this much pain right now. It just kind of breaks you down mentally. You know, I heard a great analogy about Chinese bamboo where it grows to 90 feet tall. It takes five years to grow that tall. But for the whole first four full years, you have to go out and fertilize the soil. You have to water it. You have to make sure it has proper amount of sun. You have to tend to it. And that bamboo isn't going to break the surface until the fifth year. And then in that fifth year, it grows 90 feet. Yeah, I get it. All those days that I was pushing through the pain, somewhere the body just clicked, pain started decreasing, and then my strengths kept going up, and I started to become a football player again. Oh, so great to be out here in Bill's Stadium. Get that confidence back, Coach. You know, when you were putting on the pads today, what was going through your head? To go back out there today, and just to be back out there and be in the huddle and, and look around at all my brothers being out there playing with them again. It's the same reason that brought me into the game when I was, you know, 11 years old, is go out there and play football with my friends. And so to be out there and do that again is truly a blessing. Yeah, I'm coming back. I feel like since last week to today, I feel like I've gotten way better. Way better. Just here. Yeah, let's keep working it. Big picture wise, all this COVID stuff, if I had to find a blessing in it, is it probably gave me a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time. One trainer would be with me, one strength coach and one of our physical therapists, and we'd have four or five hours of, of rehab and then leave and go quarantine at home. It's a privilege, honor and a privilege. Ain't it a blessing? So now that my body's calloused back into it, you know, you get that normal training camp feeling and it's an awful feeling when you wake up in the morning and you got a bunch of different things that hurt, but I forgot how much I love that feeling because that means that you're playing football and you're going through the tough physical grind of training camp. For all the swing passes I'm gonna run this year. Right now, I'd like to put everything I can on through training camp to earn a starting role on this defense. I wanna set really high, hard goals to reach because if you reach for the stars and you only get the clouds, you're still higher than everyone else. I've been very dedicated to that, coming off of one of the hardest years I've ever had to go through. We rush on three, one, two, three. We rush.